assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to ts academy hope you guys are fine so in today's session we are going to explore one of the most fundamental topics in economics market structures we will understand what markets are the different types of market structures and how they affect prices competition and business strategies in real world so stay tuned till the end of the complete and clear understanding so let's start with the first slide that is introduction to market and its structures. So when we say market, we don't only mean a physical place like a supermarket or shopping mall. A market can be any system or arrangement where buyers and sellers interact each other, whether physically or online, to exchange goods and services. So the main goal of market is to make the process of buying and selling easier and more efficient. The market structure tells us how this system is organized, who has the power, who sets the prices, and how much competition exists. So let's discuss the structure of market. So the structure of any market depends mainly on how much competition exists among firms. So we can broadly divide markets in, into two main types. Perfect competition, where many firms compete freely. And the second one is imperfect competition, which includes monopoly, monopolistic competition, and oligopoly. So all of which have less competition and more control by individual firms. Let's discuss the first type of market structure that is perfect competition. So uh, perfect competition is a situation where there are so many buyers and sellers that no single one can control the market price. Basically, prices are controlled uh, by the natural forces of demand and supply. Every seller sells almost identical products, so the market stays fair and balanced. No one can influence the price, not even a big seller or a buyer. Now, what are the key features of perfect competitive market? First one is, large number of buyers and sellers so many participants that no one can influence prices individually second one is homogeneous products means all sellers offer identical goods like wheat or rice so buyers don't care who they buy from third one free entry and exit new businesses can easily start selling and existing ones can leave the market without barriers Perfect knowledge. Everyone knows the prices and quality of products, so no one can cheat or mislead. For example, think of agricultural markets, where farmers sell products like wheat, rice, or potatoes. So these are great examples of near-perfect competition. Now let's discuss the imperfect competition. So in imperfect competition, the first one is monopoly. Now, what is monopoly? First, you guys need to understand the imperfect competition. The imperfect competition is uh, uh, the competition is reduced or completely absent where we enter the world of imperfect competition. So first type is monopoly, where only one seller controls the entire market and there are no close substitutes for the product. The word monopoly itself means single seller. Here, the firm has full control over the price and supply of the product. Now, let's discuss the features of monopoly. There is only one seller but many buyers. The product has no close substitute, so customers can't switch easily. The firm is a price maker, not a price taker, so it decides the price. Entry of new firm is restricted, often due to government rules or high cost. Price discrimination is possible. The monopolist can charge different prices to different customers for the same product. Now, the main question is, how a monopoly market arises? Monopoly can arise in several ways, like government licensing when the government grants exclusive rights to one firm like in railways. Second one, legal protection given to an inventor to protect 
to prevent others from copying and innovation. Third, natural monopoly. When one company controls a natural resource or when it's uh, most efficient for a single firm to operate. For example, uh, government controlled railways are a classical example of monopoly. Now let's discuss the third type of imperfect competition, which is monopolistic competition. Sorry, the second type of imperfect competition. So basically monopolistic competition is a mix of both uh, monopoly and perfect competition. Here, there are many sellers, but each one sells a slightly different product. These differences might come from branding, packaging, or quality, and that's how firms compete. Now, let's discuss the characteristics of monopolistic competition. Large number of buyers and sellers, just like in perfect competition. Second is product differentiation. Like each brand makes its product appear unique through advertising and design. Selling costs. Like companies spend heavily on advertising and promotion to attract customers. Partial control over price. Because of brand loyalty, firm can slightly raise prices without losing all customers. Free and free and access. New firms can enjoy easily keeping the market dynamic. So think of different brands, for example, shampoos, uh, soaps, or detergents like Dove, Lux, and Head and & Shoulders. So each sells a similar product, but markets it different. Now, let's discuss the third type of imperfect competition, oligopoly. A market controlled by a few large firms. In this structure, a handful of dominant companies influence prices, production, and even the overall market direction. They have to keep an eye on each other, uh, you know, moves uh, because of one company's decision directly affects the other. Th that's how oligopoly market works. Now let's discuss the key features or the characteristics of oligopoly. Only a few large firms dominate the market. There is a high level of interdependence. Like if one firm changes its prices, others respond quickly. Entry barriers exist due to high investment costs or government rules. Instead of lowering prices, companies compete through a non-price competition for better quality brand image or customer service. Sometimes firms form uh, form cartels like cooperating instead of competing to keep prices high. So if we talk about the example of an oligopoly, for example, uh, the telecom industry or airline industry are perfect examples of oligopoly. So to sum up, understanding different market structure uh, helps us to see how businesses operate, set prices, and compete each other. So perfect competition leads to efficiency and low prices, while imperfect competition allow firms to innovate and differentiate. So both play a vital role in shaping modern economies and consumer choice. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you learned something new today, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to TH Academy for more educational videos. Your support motivates us to keep creating high-quality global content. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.